main thing to bear in mind, or the starting point uh, in, in approaching a, a legal question, is to um, understand what the objective is, to um, uh, understand the person uh, to whom uh, the legal essay or the legal opinion is directed. Now, it usually in terms of a judgment, it is to the parties, it is to the world in general. In terms of a legal opinion, which I think is probably the, uh, uh, the main part uh, of legal writing, uh, it would be the client, if you're a barrister to the solicitor. Now, with that in mind, you then put yourself, that's the first approach to legal writing, put yourself in the position of the recipient uh, of the advice and ask yourself, what is it that the person is after? Usually, it's an answer. That will then give you uh, an idea as to how to approach your writing. And the first point here is to have a structure. In terms of a legal problem, answering a question in a legal problem, uh, the formula should be quite simple, really. You look to see what the problem is, you identify that, you then analyze what the facts are uh, in any particular case, you identify what the law is, uh, and then you uh, simply answer the question. Now, it sounds simple, and probably many people will think it's obvious, but you will be quite surprised uh, how often people don't follow this simple formula. This is another way of asking the question of what not to do, because the formula is simple enough. Identify what the problem is, identify the facts, uh, 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 find out what the law is, and then apply the law to the facts. What a lot of people do is they get distracted by uh, a number of things. Sometimes they can't help it, uh, and they go off on a tangent of their own, they go on a frolic, frolic of their own, uh, and they tend, I think this is the worst thing one sees in a piece of legal writing, they tend to show off uh, their knowledge of the law instead of addressing uh, before, uh, the, the problem which is before them. Well, uh, I, I think the two easiest examples to draw on would be a legal opinion and a judgment. Let's start with a legal opinion. You are usually addressing this to a client who wants to know an answer to a legal problem. That client wants to know, apart from the answer, your reasons for arriving at that answer. Now, very often if you are, uh, 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 are in a split profession jurisdiction, such as Hong Kong, the barrister writes an opinion for the solicitor. So one will need to go into more of the legal uh, background and the legal uh, reasoning uh, uh, behind that uh, and uh, here the the mistake as I've uh, said before is actually then in showing off because this detracts from what is an important part of any sort of legal uh, opinion and that is clarity. Now uh, the, the client's not interested uh, in uh, a, an answer which is unclear uh, nor in reasoning which is unclear. In terms of a judgment, your uh, audience is slightly different. Uh, it is, of course, to the parties to the litigation. It is not to the lawyers, except uh, 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 in as much as uh, they need to look at the legal reasoning in order to decide whether, for example, there's going to be an appeal. But also judgments, particularly in a common law jurisdiction, are for the world to see so that people are able to understand the reasoning and the process of the courts. So for that, for this reason, judgments tend to be perhaps a little on the more detailed side in order to reach, as it were, reach out uh, to this wider audience. Well, in, uh, uh, as a judge, 
the writing that we are exposed to, apart from the judgments of fellow judges, would be the submissions of counsel, of the lawyers who come before the courts. And this again follows the same pattern, the same pattern of addressing what the issues are in the case, uh, uh, setting out what the relevant facts are, setting out, perhaps this is uh, more important in an appellate uh, court, the uh, applicable law and then applying the law to the facts. Um, uh, and again, it is quite surprising how often we don't see that uh, in uh, submissions from counsel. Uh, I've done this myself as counsel and I've been a judge for quite a number of years now and one sees this, wrong to say a mistake, but uh, it, it, um, it, it's perhaps a, a symptom of a lack of clarity. Clarity is all important when it comes to legal opinion or legal writing. The lack of clarity comes about when, for example, you are not logical, when you don't address the very problem you're asked to address and go off, uh, uh, as I put it before, on a frolic uh, of your own, because it distracts the reader from concentrating on what really should be the main part of the opinion, which is the answer to the problem and the reasons uh, behind that. Now, um, the use of uh, long words, the use of long sentences, uh, complicated sentences, writing as though you're writing a novel because you think there's some sort of English competition, uh, are all what I call mistakes. Um, uh, uh, and what I mean by appreciating your audience and your objective is that um, uh, you keep things simple and every sentence or every word you use should be directed towards that objective of um, coming up with an answer to the legal question uh, and justifying that answer.